Where do you live? What answer do I give? People lie about it. Mercy College, Chapel Hill. The first place you arrive in Ireland is the airport. You get there with hope that everything is going to be okay. You are here to start afresh and be free. But the airport turns out to be the first place that strips me off the little identity I have left with. The way they treat you, the way they look at you, the way they talk. The second place, the International Protection Officer, IPO, to claim asylum. The way the workers talk to you, the way the security talks to you, another piece taken. But I think it's okay, they can check this one, if that's what it takes for this process to be favorable, it is okay. I find myself in Balsaskin with so many people. The way the cleaners talk to you, the way the chef talks to you, the way the waiters and the receptionists talk to you, another piece stripped. I am almost left naked with nothing to hold on to. I tell myself, that's okay if that's what it takes for me to be free. Finally, I am made a permanent accommodation to await the unknown processing of my application, waiting and waiting and waiting for something. I can't. I can't reveal what is hidden between my ribs. I stand at the crossroads, waiting for something. I check for the mail again and again. I go back to my room, I take a cigarette and I light it. I stare at my chair and sit. With this clutter, with this noise, with this conflict, oh my mind. Back again and again to the same point, standing at the crossroads, waiting and waiting and waiting for something. The Sisters of Mercy came to Sligo in 1849 to mind the left behind children of the famine dead. They teach the orphans sewing and how to be a maid. The bishops build a cathedral and the Mercy School expands on Chapel Hill. A generation on, poverty is rife. Irish Secretary Balfour outlaws demonstrations and imposes Martial law where disturbances occur. He's called Bloody Balfour. He tosses the bishops a purse to stand with him, condemning boycott actions. The bishops fund the Sisters of Mercy to build industrial schools. The one on Chapel Hill has 200 inmates. Union Jack turns to tricolour. And violent abuse continues to be inflicted through the decades, out of public view, behind the grey, 14-bay, three-storey limestone walls. Standing at the crossroads, waiting for something. To whom it may concern, I am not a file. I am not a case. I am not a number in the system. I'm not a card. I'm not his signature, 
I'm not a set of tests. I'm not a research project. I'm not a resident card. I'm not a work permit. I'm not a fingerprint. I'm the sea. I'm the morning. I'm the evening. I'm an earth from the earth. I'm a creature with no speech. I'm time. I'm waiting. I'm the street and the mountain. I'm right. I'm a file still stuck in the history of wars and massacres. A file still stuck even in the countries that speak of a freedom. Back again and again to the same crossroads waiting for something. Life is hard. Life is not fair. Life has like hell sometimes. Nihleli ngiya cabanga. Angazi ngizovuka ngini kusasa. Ma ngicabanga ukuphila. Ngicabanga ubuhlungu. Kathi impilo injena. Ngikhala ubusuku lemini. Kodwa ngithi nkosi ngifundise. Ukubekezela, ukulalela, ukuhlonipha, ukulinda, ukuncenga, ukuthanda nokwamukela. Impilo ifuna uyenze ekufunayo hayi okufunayo Impilo ibuhlungu kodwa ngithi ngelinye ilanga okungapheliyo uyahlola ngizophumelela ngizophumelela Sometimes there is anger and sometimes the answer to anger is silence But always know the present situation is not the final destination I'm not a case. I'm not a fight. I had them. I had them laughing at us. I had them, but I never knew what they were talking about. I had them saying, but we have our own people to take care of. I had them saying, do not treat them like humans. They are not fit to be humans. I had them saying, Whatever help we give them is enough. Why don't they go back to wherever they came from? I heard them saying, let's take away their identity and see how they will survive. I heard them saying, but we are doing our best. Their best, their best is locking people up in a prison with no bars, clipping our wings for so many years. I heard them saying there is nothing we can do about the situation. We are in this together as a country. But was any of their kid locked up in a hotel dying of COVID-19? Or only us? Freedom. I never knew what it feels like. But I know I have always dreamt of it. I wanted I long for it. I need it. Don't I deserve it? Am I not worthy of it? My friends don't even know the real me. We are all just living in fear, hiding our true self because we might not be worthy of staying here. I don't feel like I fit in. I have to keep my guard up. The questions may get harder. I had them. In the 1990s, history becomes undeniable. Irish people learn why their father cried at night, why their mother's eyes never shed a tear. How could it have been let happen to so many for so long? They ask, why did no one shout stop and have mercy? An inquiry orders redress be paid to survivors of abuse. 
The Sisters of Mercy are told they owe a hundred million pounds in reparation. I woke up to children screaming and the banging from the room upstairs. All familiar sounds. I've been here a while. The noise used to bother me, but not anymore. It's the silence that scares me now. It stirs up things I'd like to forget. But forgetting is a privilege I lost the day I walked through those glass doors in Dublin. I still remember the security buzzer beeping. I am sorry. It must be my watch. I still remember sitting across the man in a white shirt. I heard the fear in my voice as I told my story. A story I'd like to forget but dare not. So I try to escape because the silence makes the memory so vivid. Now you see why I don't mind this squeaky bed. The loud intimidating knocks, the fire alarms at dawn, all my roommates' loud phone conversations at midnight. I would take anything over silence. This is my life. And these empty walls are home now. But if this is home, are the random people I sit with in the dining room my family now? This is a strange place. Even the air smells sour. This place reads me of my individuality. In the eyes of the IPO officer, I'm just another story to decide on. To the solicitor, I'm just another case. And to the activist, I'm just another victim to fight for. This is my strange life. I'm thinking out loud. I am sinking in this bed. My heart races through my chest. I can still hear the children playing in the corridors. They affirm my existence. Will they ever know how beautiful their noise is to me? It's a lovely sunny morning. One more day to survive. I am not a file. I am not a case. I am not a file. I am not a case. The first few days are really nice. Little did you know what is waiting for you. The place strips you naked until you have nothing left. You are left to be humble. You are forced to say the word, please. I am deeply sorry and thank you. When you have done absolutely nothing wrong. Dublin Airport, 1 p.m. I tell them I'm claiming asylum. The lady searches me. I've taken off my shoes. She says, you have folded your clothes very nicely. She means I didn't leave home in a hurry. It doesn't take more time when you're good at folding clothes. The lady says I came together with the girl on the seat outside. I tell her, I've never seen that girl before. She says I did because we were whispering. We have the same hairstyle and we both ate Kit Kat. She holds up two Kit Kat wrappers. Kit Kat was given out on the plane. It was the only thing I could eat. Must have been the same for the other girl. But I saw you talking to each other. She speaks Shona. I speak Nebele. We haven't seen each other before. We found ourselves sitting on that seat side by side. Jingling keys fire alarms, the sound of boots walking on the cold, hard ground. All these used to be normal sounds, but now they just trigger an anxiety I can't shake off. I feel so bound. Rice, chicken, juice, even apples, all used to be treats, but now are just a vile reminder of when I couldn't eat anything else and my new treat was a couple of raffles. 
my perfume. Oh, my favorite perfume. Now it just smells like hopelessness and depression. No longer my way of expression. That corner over there is where I saw my first fight. This room is the same room that I was cornered in and felt so unsafe. That sound is my neighbor crying. And that table over there is filled with food from the day before the day before yesterday. Every corner of this building, every door that leads to a room, every painting on the wall in this place breeds nothing but injustices and oppression placed upon people under an invisible cloak of refuge and care. It is everything but. I often wonder if I can survive my own mind, let alone the institution. You may ask how I'm able to pull myself from the depth of the sunken place in my mind that I was forced to by my misfortunes, that led me to even more misfortunes. Well, replace the sound of the boots with the jingling keys walking towards your door, with the boisterous joy of the colorful children playing outside. Drown the sound of the fire alarms in a sea of laughter when you sit with your friends. Try new foods from all over the world, from your neighbor and your neighbor's neighbor. Fill the room with aromas from the jungles of Africa to the festivals of Cuba. Fight every urge to bow down. I'm not a case. I'm not a card. I'm not a number in the system. I'm not his signature. I'm not a set of tests. I'm not a research project. I'm not a work permit. I'm not a residency card. I'm not a fingerprint. The IPO. Three of us in a police van through security and forms to fill in. The man processing my application is a really nice guy. He says to me, you have a nice handwriting. He is treating me nicely while my fingerprints and photo ID are being taken. I wait two hours. Me and the Shona girl, we are given a map and told to go to Hatch Hall. We don't know how to use the map. We keep turning it around. If only I had a phone, I could Google it. But they took my phone. They said I stole it. It's cold and it's getting dark. It takes two hours to get there. Later, I learn it's only a 10 minute walk. In Hatchel, the person in charge knows nothing about me. He calls the IPO to confirm. Finally, they give me a room. I go to take a shower. The water is ice cold. In the morning, you go to the IPO again. You are told to wait for a taxi. Four hours later, a taxi arrives and it takes you to Borseski. Honalika, Ashkas. حدودهم السماء والبعض منهم البحر وأشخاص ولا إشي For some the sky is a border For some the sea is another border For others borders mean nothing Where is this taking me? to the unknown. During the week, I had a phone call with a friend of mine. After a few moments, a silence fell. My friend spoke, and this is what I heard. As long as we hold our Palestinian identity, we will not find the freedom. In this, he gave me a perfect description of this current stage in my life. Right seeker, refugee, card number two. We may progress in the system, but we will still pose a threat to those repressive policies that they call themselves liberty, humanity, protection. 
at this distance borders deeply chain my body my soul my identity despite this we still defend an idea of revolution some universal justice as a right seekers we have to admit that we ourselves have turned into followers our voices are loud but in this battle we still waiting for help for some divine intervention to end this injustice we will not find a homeland and the homeland will not find us and every day we will try to have faith try to belong what describes our situation my friend that we are a different status from everything else we will convince time we will convince their system that we are faster and lighter than every like birds we know they created borders to prevent us from soaring but we will not stop soaring i found myself on this small island a place with its own legacy wars famines and massacres and thank you juliano merhamis for making this soldier we sail hope in the hope of someone buying i will write my own fate and this is my song wahabti amri lil amal wa la gashi وغمرتي غيتي بالعرق ما طاشي وهبتي عمري للامل ولا ولا جاشي وغمرتي غيتي بالعرق ما طاشي ورعيت لمحبوبي هوا ما راشي واللي لعلي طويل وانا العليل موجود دوا بس طبيب ما رضاش والصبر فين الصبر فين يا سنين طوال وليالي الصبر فين بسكن you hear the sound of the boots coming down the corridor you hear the keys shaking you hear the key in your door then the door opens and someone is in your room three in the room me the shona girl and a girl from south africa after three weeks she sends somebody else and another zimbabwean woman takes her place after 10 at night When you return to Bosaskin you press the intercom and tell them your name and your room number planes fly low overhead every 2 minutes not safe at night a man waits for women walking down the Bosaskin lane and follows them around and offers to buy phone credit for us The Sisters of Mercy sell their chapel here lasses to a company called Bridgestock. It's run as a accommodation center for people seeking refuge in the state. Globe House it's called, established 2002. Same high walls, same paneled halls, but subdivided into units. to fit as many residents as possible capacity 320 PPPD is the way the state 
pays for the service per person per day. The more people stuffed in under the iron gutters and the overhanging eaves, the more money made. In 2011, Bridstock moved most of their assets to the Virgin Islands in the Caribbean. The company has made 100 million plus from the direct provision business. The Sisters of Mercy have paid one fifth of the 100 million they owe in Globe House. The stones know, the timbers remember, and abuse is abuse, is abuse. Cut the helian on focal shin, searsha, goodirach, swinigair, on Department of Justice. Federlate Shore Hishkins, Krecht Anma, Doriacht, Spirit Stroke on Gurp. And what exactly does richness mean? There was something, wasn't there? about the laughter of our children. Will they ever know how beautiful their noise is? Waiting, and waiting, and waiting for something. Home. 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 Where do you live? What answer could I possibly give? People lie about it. Mercy College, Chapel Hill. Home is not a place, but it's a feeling. Home is where our story begins. Home is where our family belongs. Memories created and friends are always welcome. Home is where your heart is. It's not how big the house is, but how happy. Home is where you treat your friends like family and your family like friends. Home is where love resides, memories created. Friends are always welcome and laughter never ends. It takes hands to build a house, but only hearts can build a home.